Hi all, Jen here from One Leg Out of Bed and in this video we are going to discuss everything to do with hot flushes, hot flashes and night sweats. Breathe. I started the perimenopause probably um, a year and a half, two years ago, but we'll discuss things like that in another video all about the perimenopause. What I wanted to discuss in this video is hot flushes or hot flashes, which I started getting a couple of months ago. And my first ones felt not how I was expecting them to feel or not where I was expecting to feel them. So I just thought let's do a video all about hot flushes, hot flashes and of course those night sweats. They are probably the most common symptom of the menopause and the perimenopause. 8 out of 10 women will get uh, hot flushes. So very common and to a certain degree something we just have to learn to live with but there are things we can do to help. But before I say anything about all of that, let's talk about, first of all, what a hot flush feels like. Now, people use hot flush and hot flash, those terms, interchangeably, but they're slight, they're, they are actually slightly different. So a hot flash is when you just feel um, immediate, sort of intense heat in your body. A hot flush is when you actually flush like that that red color um, in your face and a chest so that's a hot flush but for the purposes of this video i will just refer to hot flush and hot flash uh, as, as essentially the same thing but that is the difference a night sweat is essentially a hot flush or a hot flash at night so when you're asleep and generally uh, you won't be aware of the hot part of it, but you will wake up in a sweat. And that can be really... I got. I started getting those over a year ago. Didn't realise what it was, just thought I was sweating a lot in bed, a lot. Uh, but it was night sweats. Uh, I can look back in hindsight now and realise that was the perimenopause. Sometimes when you're in the perimenopause, you might not even realise you are until you get your first hot flush or your first hot flash then it twigs and you think yeah i'm definitely in the perimenopause i already knew i was because my periods had already changed a lot as i say we will talk about that in a separate video so this isn't all too wordy but one of my friends who i was speaking to recently she didn't realize she was even in the perimenopause and she until she got her first hot flush so it can, for a lot of women, it can be the first sign, yep, I'm definitely perimenopausal. Every woman will experience a hot flush or hot flash slightly differently to another. But in general, we all agree it feels, it's an intense heat. Uh, I say it feels like being a radiator because it's a different kind of heat to, you know, if you're, you know, if you're feeling hot because the room's hot, or the sun shining on you, that kind of heat where you feel it hit your skin and then that makes your insides hot. With a hot flush, it feels, it literally feels like the heat is radiating from inside of you outwards. A bit like, like I say, like you're a radiator, like you're going to spontaneously combust that kind of feeling from the inside out. Normally women say that they feel it in their chest up to their neck and their face uh, one of my friends said even her ears will feel like they're burning um, her her experience of hot flashes were, was quite different to mine so I actually got her on Skype the other night and we spoke about it for a bit and I'll put some of that footage in this video it was the inside of my chest that's all I can describe it and then it goes upwards so I don't tend to get like hot toes or legs or anything. It's literally 
from my tummy rising up to my head yeah that's what it it feels like it's going, coming from the inside out if that makes sense and just rising right to the tip of, and I don't sweat with them either I just it's just really hot my ears are really hot as well it's really bizarre I ha you know it's just like a really weird sensation with me my my first one in fact I still get them mostly they will start in my legs my upper thighs which I think is probably quite unusual. I've not heard anyone else saying they start there, but mine nearly always start there and they work up my torso to about to about here. Sometimes they will start higher up and there'll be more of the chest and, and face flush. I'm feeling quite warm now actually doing this video. Now, this is the other thing I was going to say. I'm going to put the, the fan on in a minute, but I'm going to just put it on now. Otherwise, this is what you've got to watch with, with hot flushes. The minute you start to feel yourself just generally warming up. So I'm not having a hot flush now. I'm just feeling a bit too warm. But if I had left that and just carried on feeling a bit too warm, eventually that would have turned into a hot flush. Which leads us quite nicely on to the, the process of, of hot flushes and hot flashes and why they happen. You're experiencing lower and higher levels of certain hormones than you've ever done in your in your whole life and it seems to affect your body's temperature control so normally your body can go through quite a range of temperatures before it will trigger i'm really really hot when you're in the menopause and perimenopause for some reason your body can't seem to do that anymore just a tiny increase in your body temperature will you, your body will say it's too much it's too much i'm too hot and it will it, it will almost overreact so what happens is um to try and cool itself down your all your blood capillaries will open send all the blood to the surface of your body to, to, to try and cool it down so that's why that is happening so what you'll find is even so many things that just raise, raise your body temperature a tiny bit will be enough to set off a hot flash so it could be like I was just feeling a bit warm then probably if I'd have carried on just talking I might have had a hot flash but I've put my fan on and averted that situation uh, I've also noticed if I drink a hot drink that can set it off so again that the hot drink just slightly raises your body temperature. Wouldn't have been enough to cause us any problems before, but in the menopause, perimenopause, that's enough to make our body think, ah, I'm getting too hot, and try and do something about it. Hot drinks, hot showers, uh, getting stressed, um, little bursts of overactivity. That's, I don't suffer with that problem. <laughs> but you know, anything that raises your body temperature set off a hot flash so talking about fans um, I've got my big fan that I have sitting at the end of my bed right here where I'm sitting and in the night I have that on even if I'm not particularly feeling warm I still keep the fan on just on a really low setting because just that feeling of having that cool slightly cool breeze against your skin I just find that really helps um, to not have too many hot flashes. Oh, so you, you, you've probably noticed in a lot of my videos recently, I'm just wearing vests. Uh, you have to excuse me for that. I know it doesn't look very attractive, but um, I find it really helps to keep my, my chest not covered up, my arms not covered up, and also if I can, my legs, especially with me as my hot flashes seem to start in my thighs. So the more exposed skin I have the better do you know what I'm thinking I'm like a cold body so usually I'm like leggings jeans I wouldn't wear my shorts this time of year but actually I've been in shorts and t-shirts so maybe I am feeling warmer and not thought about that and I never thought about the drinking the tea or the coffee that might cause it as well because I drink a lot of coffee and tea during the day and I'm wondering if that's just kind of like making me feel hotter but not realising it and stuff. But I'm finding that I'm even going to bed in my knickers now 
and that's usually unheard of with me because I'm usually Stuart laughs at me because I'm like usually planning it pajamas top under a duvet with a, a throw on top I've been wearing like loose like really sort of loose fitting like silky ones but last night I even had the top off of that and just the bottoms on one of my favorite little things for out and about is my little um fan you can get all kinds but this is I really like this one and even just even if your hot flash is really intense and working its way up your body even just a little bit of cool that feeling on your face can be enough to tell your body it's all right you're cooling down now having said that with with some of my hot flashes in the beginning so the first couple of months of my hot flashes they were so intense and i was burning up so badly like really intense even with a full fan uh, on full blast against my skin you almost you can't feel the coolness of that because the heat coming out of your own body is so intense it's only when it dies down naturally that you can then start to feel the fan and the cool air and you think okay i'm i'm getting through that some nights i've even got up and just gone and stood outside in in the cold just because th there's that kind of intense heat from the inside out, it can feel, it can make you feel a bit panicky even, um, because there's no escaping it. There's, you know, you just have to wait for it to die down. Some people ca can get panic attacks about things like that, that you might even feel your heart palpitating or your heart probably um, beating fast because your your body's dealing with the, the sort of crisis of the, of, of overheat, it thinks it's overheating. Another little fan that I've got that I absolutely love this. This is probably my favourite gadget. Um, and it just plugs into the USB port of your um, laptop. And you can just angle it towards your face while you're working. And I just literally angle it at your face. And this is a nice thing to do if you work in an office or something and you don't, you, you know, you can't blast everyone else with a fan or you don't, you can't keep a hand um, free to keep using one of these just have this plugged into your USB on your laptop just keep it blowing at your face you can also get um, what is this one rose dewy glow face mist you can get all kinds of um, face mists and, and things like that this one happens to be makeup friendly so presumably they mean you can spray it over your makeup I don't hardly ever wear makeup, as you've probably noticed. So I don't know why I've got this posh one, but... Uh, oh, that's rose, lovely. Yeah, that's quite cooling. I mean, there, like I say, there are so many of these things about, and probably even a squirt of, of, of water is going to feel nice. So anything you can think of to cool yourself down. I pr I'd probably even spray that there, actually. That's quite nice and cooling. You might be one of the lucky ones that goes through the whole perimenopause and menopause without having hot flashes. You might just have one or two a day or one or two a week, or you, you know, or you might be um, somewhere in the middle like me. I tend to get about five or six a day. And I say a day, not really in the day. I tend to start getting them in the evening. So I might get about three or four in the evening and then when I go to bed I'll probably have a, about two or three more laying in bed um but when I first had one where I thought oh actually this is like not good it was of a night time when I went to bed and it woke me up so and I do get mainly get them at night times for some reason I get the odd one during the day but they're mainly night and then it's usually two or three times a night that's what I've been finding I think it's because in the evening, you know, you shut the curtains and um, you sort of hunker down for the evening. I think the room warms up a bit. Uh, in the day, I've got the windows open and I think that's that helps. In As I say, in the evening, you've got the windows shut and the doors shut and everything. And I think just that tiny difference is enough to start my hot flashes. It'd be interesting to see if, if you agree or, if, you know, if you found the same thing. If you've got any tips or tricks as well, um, do tell me in the comments and let, let's uh, share some advice for each other.
Um, I can't remember if I already mentioned this. I tell you what, with the with the perimenopause, the other thing I'm getting. I know we're talking about hot flashes, but my brain doesn't work very well anymore. I've, I've got a really bad memory. <laughs> Now, did we already discuss? No, see, I've got no, I've forgotten already what I was going to say. Oh my god, hang on, let me look at my notes. Oh yeah. <laughs> god. So this, I can't remember if I already said this. Over time, my hot flashes have already begun to change a little bit. So to begin with, they were really intense. <laughs> Thank you, Spurge. <laughs> Uh, do you want to see the dog? Hello. Hello. Neighbour's dog is barking. Ah, so he's going to start in a minute. Um, yeah, they were really, really intense. And like I say, I was getting about six or seven a day. But funnily enough, just before I, I thought about making this video, they, they started to change a bit and I definitely get less now so maybe only one or two in the evening maybe two at night Spudgy. um and i'm finding them a lot less intense as well like i'm much more able to bear them um i think they're less intense i don't know if i've just got used to it but i think they're getting a bit less intense so that's the other thing to sort of bear in mind even though when we start getting hot flashes we know that it might be something that we're going to get for many years yet but it doesn't mean they're always going to be as bad as they are when they start or they, they could change i might go through a period where they're not so bad and then they'll get worse again we're, we're all going to be different um there is no guidebook <laughs> my tripod's gone for a burton i had a hot flush last night for the first time in three days so ah. i do think they probably are well i see they're getting this maybe i noticed this one more last night because i because i was um i was restless and stuff so i didn't sort of fall asleep straight away so maybe i just noticed it whether or not maybe the fans making a difference i don't know but i i haven't been woken up with one for three days before I had that one last night so and I put it down to where them tablets that I'm taking working now they're in my system because I'm taking the primrose oil I'm taking quite a high dose of that and the vitamin vitamin E and I didn't know whether maybe it coincided with them being in my system now and working or whether it was just because that's just the way I don't know you could I suppose you could try everything couldn't you so is it just subcut you know in your brain you're thinking it's working so you're more maybe relaxed and go to sleep i have no idea so i mentioned um hot drinks and anything like that 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 slightly raises your body temperature can easily set off a hot flash so obviously that would include as well things like alcohol spicy foods so anything like that um avoid or live with the hot flash <laughs> I'm not bothered, I just live with the hot flashes. Nothing's going to stop me having a glass of wine. I can't think of anything else to say. I think that that's pretty much everything there is to say about hot flashes. As I say, I am a newbie myself to all of this, so if anyone's got any comments, tips, hints, uh, tips, hints, yeah, hints, tips. See, my language is, my brain's just not with it anymore. Uh, talk to me in general about menopause and, and if you like and has your brain gone dead <laughs> like mine <laughs> all right guys i'm just totally waffling now so let's put this video to bed that's everything there is to say i hope you found some of it useful if not tell me in the comments that it's been a total waste of, of time because Probably totally agree <laughs> I promise I haven't had a drink this is this is like menopause brain when you start getting flustered breathe
that's better. Okay, guys, so that's it. That's my hot flush, hot flash night sweat video. I hope it's been useful, or if if nothing else, maybe you don't feel quite so sort of overwhelmed with the whole situation. Mine are definitely much better than they used to be already. Uh, it's a journey, isn't it? It's a journey. Something we've just got to get through. And it's not so bad. So if you're about to enter this phase of your life, um, hopefully you can see. I've managed to sit here, look, and do a whole, what we've been here, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, do a whole video without having a single one. So, and this time of the evening is normally when I would get them. So it's all good. All right, guys. So take care, won't you? And see you all soon.